This lesson is called Move It, Move It. And you'll find that in our Unplugged lessons, we like to give the option for kids to get up and really get moving. If you can't get moving in your classroom, there are smaller versions of this you can do. For example, instead of moving your whole body, you can have them use their fingers. Hopefully you'll see how this kind of thing can be done after I'm done explaining the lesson. With Move It, Move It, you essentially uh, get the kids to do a real life map. There are a few maps provided in the resources in the book, but you lay out sheets of paper with one smiley face hidden beneath, and the students start at a compass rose. This makes for a really good introduction to cardinal direction as well, if you're starting to hit those in your class in kindergarten and first grade. So they use uh, north, south, east, and west to guide their fellow students across this map in order to find the happy face. And they're supposed to do this standing the same direction as the person who's walking. So if you have a map here and someone's standing facing that way, getting ready to walk, then the person who's guiding them will stand in front of them facing the same direction so they can't, they aren't looking at each other's faces. Uh, in fact, this person can't see the person on the map at all. They have to rely on their directions to get the, the person on the map from the start to the stop. Now you can make changes to this for your classroom. If your students aren't quite ready to do something that detailed, they can do it by having their pencil on a square. You could use post-it notes, they could use their fingers. You could let them look at each other. You could let them do it step by step. Right now it's written so that you start out by doing one instruction at a time and then you move to two instructions at a time then three instructions at a time, and eventually get to the place where they could do a whole algorithm without looking at the person, and it becomes more like a program. Play with this. The idea is to kind of teach the difference between an algorithm and a program. The difference, by the way, is that an algorithm is generally an easier version of the instructions to understand, written in English or whatever language you speak. Uh, just something that you can get across really easily, whereas a program has already been coded to be run. So whether you're running it on a computer or a robot or for a specific person to follow, then it's been coded, now it becomes a program. This lesson is relatively quick, it's fun, it's really easy to build off of, and it's really easy to alter. So please, as always, feel free to adapt any of these to work best for your classroom.